All right, guys, Omar here, broker and CEO of All The Mortgage Only Realty. So I don't know why I keep introducing myself, but whatever. This is Plan 2057, built by KB Homes. This is going to be one of those tri-level townhomes. I'm a big fan of townhomes. Hate stairs, so let's get it going. First, as soon as you walk in, I guess you need a mirror to see your face, whatever, take that down. I never understood why you walk in. It's like, what do they call that, feng shui or whatever? It messes up my feng shui. But you have your full bathroom downstairs right over to Yonda's, and then you're gonna come over to the right hand side, right hand side, and then you have your small guest bedroom. Now this, the guest bedrooms are actually there, but I'm gonna say one thing. It is really weird how they went ahead and put the guest bedroom downstairs, and the only way to get to your back patio is through the guest bedroom. Oh shit, there's stupid water pictures always have to make me go to the bathroom. But they have a patio right here, and the patio is really, really nice. It's small, it's cozy, it's quaint. It's quaint and cozy the same thing? I don't know, I'm stupid. Let's go ahead and go upstairs, because I know you guys love to watch me go upstairs. Oh, gosh. And it's full of shit. Let's go upstairs. And I hate stairs, so I'm not gonna make you watch. Let me go upstairs. All right, I'm coming up to the top of the stairs, and what in the pottery barn threw up is going on in this area? This is like that straight farmhouse type of thing. So you wanna see? Right over here, we have the big island, which of course, in this world, you need a big island. You need an island. No island, no life. You wanna know why? Because everybody hangs out at the island. You go ahead and come over here, you have this nice, see, once again, this is why I like townhomes. You come across here, you got everything you need here. The wife kicks you out. You get to go ahead and have everything you want in here. How do you make sense now? Wife kicks you out, you use that downstairs. That's your own little, guest bedroom slash I got kicked out because I said something stupid, which that happens to me all the time. Come over here, you have your pantry area. Nice little size pantry area. Enough to have enough food for you for the next like, next apocalypse or whatever it is. Fridge. Now there's a one thing that a lot of people don't think about, okay? Fridges. Here we go. Fridges. These are good fridges. Always look out whenever you're going into a new development or wherever you're at, just make sure you always look. If they don't, if they don't offer the, um, the fridge in the unit, which this one does not, all appliances, sorry about that, all appliances are not included, you gotta measure this out and see what, you gotta measure this out and see what the height is and see what the depth is because sometimes, Jesus Christ, what the hell? Because sometimes you'll need a built-in. Now, I didn't do the measurements. I had to go to get a built-in. That motherfucker cost $10,000. Look out for that next time you go. Coming over here, and then you have a nice little dining area that they went ahead and did here. White is... You know, I never... I never understood really why you have to stress this, and even though I have wear like this distressed clothes, like buy something brand new that looks like it's been worn a million times. But now I understand, it actually makes sense in here. It actually looks really, really nice. And especially if you have kids and they nick things up all the time. This is actually really, really nice. And this is what I mean. Like you see this right here? You see that right there? Like this is just how it came, but it makes everything go really, really nice in the house together. And then you have, oh shit, this is a real brick. Well, I'll be damned. See this? It's real brick. All right. All right. That looks really, really nice. And then of course you have these beautiful views. Now the views are probably the best thing. I wish, I wish you could capitalize on the views a little bit better and you were able to go ahead and blast this whole wall out and put a patio out there so you could enjoy the port of Los Angeles. I think that's the port of Los Angeles, San Pedro port or whatever it is. And you could see everything over there. But it is what it is. 
And then you have, of course, your little... This is, the, this is where I would be most of my time, right here. Right here, this is where I would be. Going upstairs, let's go ahead and go upstairs. Skip the stairs, skip the stairs. And then as soon as you come up to the top of the stairs, you have your side-by-side -side washer, dryer, right here in the room next to you. And then, um, not, I don't know why I'm trying to get excited over washer dryer, like you've never seen a washer dryer before. And then to the right at the top of the stairs, you have your um, you have your master bedroom. Now, I don't understand why the master bedroom is here. The master bedroom should have been on the other side because, well, A, you have your washer dryer here. That'll get really, really annoying. And I'd rather annoy my kids rather than annoy myself. And you can hear everybody that's coming up the stairs. But whatever. And then we come off to the right. Let's check out the walk-in closet. This is a better walk-in closet. Still a little bit on the smaller side. I guess you could kind of build this out to make it better. And then you have, this is a cozy, let's just call it cozier bathroom. You have your, I mean, it's still a really, really good size. You have your bathtub and then you have your shower right here. And then you have your his and hers. Can you see that? His and hers sink. And then where the business happens, you don't you don't need to see where the business happens, but let's get on into the other rooms. Check those sons of guns out. You have your bathroom right here, and this will be for the other two bedrooms. And then you have a another little corner bedroom, which is probably like around 10 feet by 10 feet. No walk-in closet on this one. It's got one of these slide thingies. And then the last one will be this one. Now let's go ahead and review this property. All right, let's go ahead and do a recap on this guy right here. Now, of course, this is a sky view at Point Vista, 27723 Rosewood Lane, San Pedro, California. Now this is going to be plan number 2057. Three stories, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. You could opt, I'm assuming, that downstairs for a home office or like, whatever, okay? This one is gonna be starting at 1.151 million and I don't know why this one is actually more expensive than the bigger floor plan one. Not sure at all. Fool me, I have no idea. But HOA fees are $152. Uh, then you have a gym membership fee of $18. And then you do have the Melaroos at $3,500 a year. Uh, for 50% commission rebate or any lending, hit up your boy, link in the description below. Appreciate the love, appreciate anything. There is no love, I get shit subscribers. Most of you guys don't subscribe. Just do it. It's not like it's gonna hurt you. You ain't paying for it. Just subscribe.